Welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to take a look at how to calibrate a spring scale. First of all, notice that in order to measure accurately, since there's nothing hanging from the hook here, you can see, um, we would need this bar to be at zero. So calibrating means that we're going to make it so it's going to measure accurately by starting at zero. This particular kind of spring scale is made so that this metal part can slide up and down to change the calibration. And so we just need to slide that until the bar is right at zero. Now you'll notice if you look closely, if you look closely at this, let's get that zoomed in right here, this bar is pretty thick. It's almost half the distance, well almost all the distance between zero in this first line here. We'll talk about what the lines mean in the next video. And so we have to decide, are we going to make the top of this bar equal with the top of the line, which is more or less what I did here already, or I could adjust it so that the top of the line matches up with the bottom of the, the top of the bar here matches up with the bottom of the black line or I could match it up so that the bottom of the bar matches the bottom of the black line. It doesn't really matter which method you use. I prefer to do top of the bar to top of the black line myself. Um, it doesn't matter which, which method you use as long as you're consistent. And when you go to read the other measurements, you use the same idea, top of the bar to top of the line that would be exactly 0.4 there. We'll talk about why it's 0.4, not 0.2 in the next video. Or if it was about there, it'd be about uh, 0.5 because I'm measuring the top of the bar. But always measure the top of the bar compared to whatever you set, the, whatever you calibrated it to. Okay, so now this is all set up to use horizontally or vertically. But if we go to <coughs> a horizontal setup, if we take it and lay it down here, you can see that it is no longer calibrated. And I did not slide the metal there at all. What happened was, that remember this spring is holding up this bar here, this bar and this hook. And when we put it horizontally, it no longer has to hold that up. And so it contracts the spring a little bit when we change from vertical to horizontal and it's no longer calibrated. So if you're going to use the, the device horizontally, you'll have to calibrate it while it's in the horizontal position. If you want to use it vertically, you have to calibrate it while it's in the vertical position. So now that I've calibrated it horizontally, I could do something like attach it to this car, to this car here, and I could see how much force it takes to pull it sideways across the desk. And that's the basic idea of how you calibrate a spring scale. If you uh, have any questions, please list them below in the comments. Um, our next video on spring scales, we'll talk about how to read the spring scale.